Bruce Arians, thank you for your service. Thank you for bringing your, your championships to Tampa Bay. Uh, but Bruce Arian apparently is retiring and is saying, uh, you know, um, sayonara on, on Todd Bowles. Uh, has been named a defensive coordinator, uh, who was a defensive coordinator, former New York Jet head coach, is now the head coach of your Tampa Bay Bucks. And remember that Byron Leftwich, former quarterback, is running uh, the offense now. And, well, here's just a theory, just from a, from a dude living in New York. And, uh, you know, congrats to Todd Bowles, by the way, who... Finally, uh, who has a chance to be another, um, to be a coach again. Five-year deal, I believe it is. Has an actual quarterback, something that he did not have here in New York uh, with the Jets. But I, I just think back to this, and, you know, Bruce Arians is saying that he's healthy, that which is a very good thing. Uh, but he's retiring. Uh, gone. Now, I remember this whole... I think now bear with me here. I remember this whole Tom Brady retiring, not retiring, retiring, not retiring thing being played out, which was just hysterical uh, the past couple of weeks, months here recently. And now he, he's long story short, uh, he is um, coming back. Then you heard, you know, that he wanted to be traded to. Uh, that he got you know, rumblings that he wanted to go to Miami, that he wanted out of Tampa, you know. And, and I think back to like the time when uh, when when you see the owners of the Tampa Bay Bucks, the the Glazer family, I believe it is, right? They own Manchester United. Tom Brady is on a plane there watching Christian Ronaldo play his last game, and they say, "Listen, Tom." What is it going to take here for you to come back? And you know, we're not going to trade you to. Miami, we're not going to trade you elsewhere. That's out of the question. Come back. Come back, Tom, please. Well, you know, I, I'll only come back, but we got to get rid of... Uh, I'll come back if we get rid of Bruce Arian. Not for nothing. I, I love Bruce Arian. Um, nothing against him. Personally, you know, we won, uh, we won um, uh, a championship together, and it's all cute there, and it was all great. But, man, I can't have him just uh, calling me out, barking on my behind. I dealt with Bill Belichick for 20-something years. I'm not going to be dealing this with uh, Bruce Arian. Bruce Arian, <laughs> Bruce Arian now is completely uh, different than Todd Bowles as your head coach. Now, Tom Brady just wants to coast on, sail on down. Listen, I'll, I'll win you. We will, we will win another championship, but it can't be with Bruce Arian. It's too much of a barker at me, calling me out. Listen, I need someone laid back. I dealt with all of that with Bill Belichick years and years ago, being um, uh, you know, in my head and <laughs> whatever. I just can't deal with that. You know what, Tom? You got it. You know what? We'll let Bruce Arian go, and Bruce will say it's a retirement, yada, yada, yada. And that's what happened. That is what happened. That, again, just my theory. But I think that is what happened. If you wanted Tom Brady back, you had to get rid of Bruce Arian. Um, just he couldn't. Tom Brady couldn't deal with it anymore after dealing it with so many years in uh, New England. And now you have Todd Bowles has another opportunity to be a coach. Um, you know, with a five-year deal, and he has actually a decent quarterback and a decent team. And that's this team is going to be. Uh, one of the teams favored to win, I mean, just because they are in the NFC and, and the division is what it is. So be prepared once again, ladies and gentlemen, for the Tampa Bucks possibly being in the Super Bowl. Hope all is well.